it's Maritza from Killies Island and today I'm going to just give you a quick demonstration on the IMOP. Thank you very much for purchasing your IMOP. This is a training video for any staff who haven't been trained by myself or one of our team. And so if you can make sure that anybody who uses the IMOP does have a little look at this video before they use it for the first time. So your eye mop is a scrubber dryer um, and basically this is the 18 inch model. So you're coming to use it, what do you do the first time? So you come and get your batteries first of all and this is your charger and you can see on your charger that it'll show you what percentage your battery is. So that's on 100%. Um, when your batteries um, are fully charged, you can switch your machine off and take the batteries out. To take the batteries out, you just press the little clips in there and then you just push it out. You've got one grey battery which goes into the grey side of the machine. Okay, and to put your battery in, it just slides in there. And then you can just twist it around to the other side. You've got your blue. Take your other battery off and that clips in there. And um, just a note on the batteries, if your machine is not being used constantly, uh, obviously we've had a lot of lockdowns and businesses uh, being closed, please make sure that the batteries are charged at least once a week. That means then that they, they keep their charge in them. Otherwise, what can happen is if you didn't use your machine for a month, couple of months, the charge in the batteries would get so low that the charger would have difficulty uh, picking up the charge for it, okay? So um, you've got your batteries in. Then on the bottom of the machine, you've got your two brushes. <clears throat> you can get uh, pads for the machine, but this is how the machine comes. You've got your squeegee. And um, all of that will have been cleaned from the previous use. And then what you need to do is fill your machine up, okay? So to take it off, I always hold it here and just use the palm of my hand there to pull it off. With the IMOP, the nice thing about it is the tanks are removable, not like the big box machines. So you can take it to your sink. You can either fill it with uh, warm water, not too hot. If you're using a gun method where you've got a dilution chemical, you can just fill it in. But please never fill the machine while it's on there because you don't want water being spilled, no matter how careful you are. And it will go over here where you've got circuit boards and things like that. So always take it off. So you can use uh, just water in the machine. I've got Tosano in here, which is stabilised aqueous ozone. That means you use your own water and turn it into a powerful uh, general purpose cleaner and sanitizer. Whatever you use in your machine, please make sure it's low foam. You don't want a high foam, something high foaming because it will go up through uh, into the motors. So you put the top back on and then that just presses in and clips down in there, okay? Whenever you fill the machine, please always make sure that you, your dirty water canister is empty, okay? This just pulls off, uh, you've got a four litre capacity there and you've got eight litres here. So you unscrew the top, empty it out, and in this dirty water canister, you've got a filter with a little ball cock in it. And what that's for is, is to make sure that you don't um, pick up too much water, which in turn then would go down into the motors. So very important, every time you fill your machine, you empty it, and you just have a quick look at the filter, make sure there's no hairs, fluff, give it a clean, rinse under the tap, and then pop that back on, okay? When you finish with your machine at the end of the night, just leave the cap off, and that'll stop getting those uh, odours that you get sometimes, like, a, you know, with your mop bucket. Just leave that off, and then when you come to use it, you need to put this on so that you've got your suction, okay? That cap needs to be on for the machine to suck up properly. So we've got our batteries in, we've got our clean water tank, this is empty, and then I just want to show you the top of the machine here, okay? So this dial, it's a little bit like a washing machine. On this side, you've got uh, your water function. So this one here, you've got brush and vacuum. What that's for is if you had a spillage, uh, you don't want any water going on the floor and you can just suck up the spillage. For everyday use, you've got your brush, your water, and your vacuum, and that's the setting that you have on. So to get it onto that one, it's just two clicks there, okay? Everything on this side, is, um, it's got no vacuum. So if you had a very dirty floor, and you wanted to put your solution on and give it a really good brush in, you could use it on that side, but this is everyday use, okay? Um, on the new machines, you've got a counter there to show you how many hours you've used. This here is for the batteries, so obviously it'll be full green when your batteries are fully charged and it will slowly go down. 
And this button here has two functions. One, if you had um, a floor that you only wanted to put a very small amount of water on, you just press that button and it will reduce the water down uh, by 30%. So that would be like a hardwood floor, something like that, okay? The other uh, feature of this button is it's a reset button. So if you came on to use your machine and it wasn't doing what you wanted it to do, all you do is switch your machine off, take the batteries out, hold the reset button there for um, 30 seconds, switch it back on, put your batteries in, and that'll reset your machine, okay? So now we want to use it. We've got it on the, the dial there. We want to lower this down onto the floor. And you notice there I said lower. What we don't want, this bottom part is the scrubber dryer part. So there is some uh, weight in there. You want to just lower that to the floor, not drop it, okay? You can hear your machine set in there. It's showing you that your batteries are good to go. So what we're going to do now is press the trigger and that'll start the machine. You can use the machine in two ways, okay? You can walk up and down with it. for the motor to stop and then what you do is you click it back like that okay so if you have a very smooth floor um the eye mark squeegee is flat to the floor so it'll leave it practically dry the floor that i'm on here like a, a tiled floor with grouting the squeegee can't get right down into the grouting so that will uh, you'll see a little bit more moisture just left and it'll dry very quickly though in those areas as well okay so that's how you actually use the machine. Like anything, once you've used this uh, a couple of times, cleaning your facility, um, you'll find that it's uh, so manoeuvrable. Staff love using this machine because it does such a good job. It's very quick um, and people like to use it, okay? So um, just to go over, I want to show you a couple of things that you do not do, okay? So number one, um, this is one of the only scrubber dryers that is very transportable. So if you do ever have to take it upstairs or put it into the back of the van or anything like that, um, what I recommend you do is take the tanks off the machine, okay? Because what you don't want to do is get any water from those tanks going down into the motor, okay? If that happens, um, it's not covered on your, under your manufacturer's warranty, okay? So please make sure that if you're going to put this into a van, anything like that, you always remove the tanks. Um, to make it lighter again, you can take the, the, the batteries off, okay? And then when you need to carry the machine, you can carry it like that, okay? The machine itself is 22 kg. And because of the design of this machine, uh, that it's, uh, you know, they've taken it away from the standard box one and they've put it onto the vertical one, you've got 22 kg of brush pressure pressing down. And this is the reason why you get such good results with this machine, okay? So um, always make sure when transporting it, no batteries and no water tank, okay? And um, when you finish using the machine, you're gonna empty your dirty water canister, okay? You're going to clean the filter there and you're going to leave that open to air dry. Uh, there's a little deflector here which also sometimes gets hair and things like that so that can just pull out. You can give that a, a, a rinse underneath the tap you can see there okay and then that just pushes in okay. Another important thing is you don't use the eye mop or any scrubber dryer unless the area of floor that you're going to do has been pre-swept uh, or pre-vacuumed, okay? Um, so always make sure the floor is free of debris before you start. Um, then the next thing that you're going to do is remove your batteries, okay? And they'll get popped into the charger and they'll be ready then so whenever the next person comes, the batteries are ready for use. 
Now, just on your batteries, um, it, when, the, when the batteries are fully charged, you'll get 60 to 70 minutes use out of them. And they will fast charge in the charger up to 80% in one hour, okay? So, um, and because the machine cleans such a big area so quickly, um, however, if you want to use your machine back to back for eight hours on a shift, what a lot of clients will do is just buy an extra set of batteries and then while your batteries are, one set is charging, the other set's on the machine. When you're storing your charger, please make sure if it's in your uh, utility, um, into your sluice room, wherever you keep it, that it's not left on the floor because you don't want any uh, flood, anyone spilling anything on it. So please keep this up off the floor uh, when, you, when you're actually storing it. And then the last thing that you need to do is make sure the machine is nice and clean for the next person. Especially in today's environment where we want to sanitise everything and make sure it's clean. So when you are finished, what you do is you just take the squeegee off, okay? And you can see on here, you get bits of grit and dirt and hairs, things like that. Take that under your tap, give it a rinse, rinse through here, um, and then you can just spray it with your sanitizer, okay? And then your actual two brushes, okay? They, the nice thing about the brushes on these, they counter rotate, so that's why it cleans into your grout and so well. But when you finish using your machine for the day, just twist off your brushes, give them a rinse, remove any uh, debris. Again, you can sanitize the bottom of this, which is something you can see that the dirt and things that it picks up. You can never do this on the big box machines because you can't get underneath them. Whereas that's why people like this machine there's in so many doctors, surgeries, hospitals, dentists, places like that, because they want a machine that can be sanitized and cleaned, okay? And then that just pops on like so. Put your squeegee back on like that. And then your machine is good to go for the next time. Um, so that's a little demonstration on uh, how to use your machine effectively, how to look after it and also make sure that it's ready and uh, clean for the next person to use. Okay, so thank you very much for uh, watching this. If you have uh, any questions, anything at all, please contact us and um, we're happy to help. Thank you.